public reports are basically whatever the reports created by your administrator for entire company uses that you will find under public reports. I'll go to the home page again. Main age public reports will be a place where your organization uses your reports which are created by customer administrators. There is one more pre-packaged report which is Ariba has provided the standardly available depending upon your module. Suppose you are taking a sourcing module, only sourcing module related reports only will be available. If you take contract and other suit integrated, you will have access to all type of reports. Apart from that, the third place will be personal workspace. So the difference between personal workspace and public reports is in this space, whatever the reports which you are creating, which is only visible to you, only the public report which are shown, uh, kept in public reports will be visible to the company across. So first we'll look at the pre-packaged reports, which are basically a standard reports provided by Ariba by default to all the customers who were it subscribed to the modules. So out of this, there are more than enough. These reports will sufficient for uh, your Ariba. There is a limitation on your Ariba reports also. The reports are not up to date. So it will take six hours of a time. For example, you created a purchase requisition or purchase order or a contract workspace was created. Mm -hmm. When you run that report, it will not have the latest information. The Ariba will process as a batch process. After at least a minimum of six hours only, you will be able to get that item reflected in your reports that you need to keep in mind. Okay. Now, uh, in these reports, so what are all the important reports? Approval reports. This is again a folder. Once you click on approval reports, click on open, you will see the details about approval history and pending approval. If you want to see first approval history, for example, click on that, click on open. Then view the report. The system will give you the contract ID or an approval ID, the approval ID of a document, what type of a request, what is the current status, when is the action taken, approved by user, approved, and all other details. From this screen, you can have detailed view or an aggregated view also. Once you click on aggregated view, it will give you total approval count of 637. And you want to see in detail, you expand this down arrow and click on detailed view. So that is with any of the report also, where you are seeing it. Then you will also have uh, okay, edit option, save option, export option. Any of the prepackaged reports which you have opened, you will not be able to make any changes and overwrite the file. That is one good advantage. If you want to save, you need to take as a copy only and save that in either in your personal workspace or in a public folder. So that is your save option. So you don't need to worry. You can play around with all the prepackaged reports. That is not going to correct. Edit is basically if you want to modify some data in this report, you use the edit option. The export is basically to export to an Excel file or a CSV file, whichever the format that particular report submit. You see, for example, my data dot XLS. So it is giving you a pilot view, pivot view, where you can able to access your report. Again, you need to remember the data 637 records have been expanded. So the data you are saving here in a column format of approval title and these fields, when you run the report, maybe this is not in the same order what you're seeing in the user interface. So that is again a disadvantage from the Ariba. What Ariba is saying is the display view and the export view, which is processed by a database, which is not in sync. Not in sync means there is a limitation that is not possible to filter whatever you are seeing in the screen. Okay. Now I have exported it. Let me show you just to show you. If most of the cases, if you are getting the same fields, it's all well and good. If it is not coming, then that is not. Uh, that is an expected behavior from the Ariba. Anyways, so these reports are generally, uh, I'm showing my screen. This is the report. So approval ID, title, approval, sanction, blah, 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 whatever you are seeing in the Ariba screen that is coming here. You can see the table information, pie chart. You can play around using your Excel based on your expertise you can able to play around with the data provided in the excel sheet 
5 with bar chart. In the file web, if you select only for marketing, you want to see you want to see only 2002 and play around and see let's go back to the Ariba screen Ariba. Okay, now again, you also have actions where you can edit in wizard, save changes, display as one, export data, same, this is export and this export, same. Export data, configure your export. If you want to configure your export, then you will decide what type of a format you want, whether you want a private area pie chart or bar type pie chart, or you want in a CSV format. In some reports, you will find different options also. In this case, these two are options available. So what fields, uh, data set you want to customize, then you can choose whatever the fields you want to export. Dimension fields and other fields also, you can modify and do that. Cancel, that is your export options of configuration. For example, now I edit, I want to use some additional data. So this is how your the uh, reports will be having three steps. First one is the source data, which will also give a kind of a overview. What is the title of your report? A brief description about report. So what it is containing that report, you will be having report currency. So user preference means whatever the user is having uh, in his currency, he is going to see. If company across, you want to see in US dollars, which is the client uh, currency. So when you're registering the product with the what currency you're loading, that currency. User preferences can be changeable. I can go and change my preferences to different currency also. That is your user currency. And what is your company currency? That is US dollars in majority of the cases. Here, then the data sources. At least you need to have one data fact, which is main fact, which will decide the content which you are getting is from which fact. Either it is from an approval history, budget, catalog, collaborating, contract, line item, contract request, contract workspace, financials, invoice exceptions, invoices, all these things are available. You can use any of these fact first and then also similarly based on your approval, then some additional options also will be given. For example, if you are selecting in approval history, we have only one fact. If I'm selecting contract versus procurement, then I will also get secondary option of I can add contract clause or contract line, contract line item as a secondary fact. Then the fields available in this report also, I can able to take it. I'll go back to the same uh, approval history. Okay. So this certain facts have only one, where there is a linkage between two, three multiple factor there, then you will be able to select it. And you need to select at least one measure from the system. Then only it will allow. If you do not select, then system will not allow to move to the next step. In this case, approver count has been taken as a uh, available measure. Then then click on next. You need to select as one data field. Anyway, it is there. Add to report. Okay. Now click on next. In the private layout, you will be seeing hierarchies, approval status, approval type, approval management users, approval date, preparer. Under preparer, what he has, management user, requester, management user, source system, submit date, all these details are available. Suppose you want to select, I want my report should consist users, okay, preparer, user. So I will be adding this field. Real user. Prepare the requester also I'm going to add. I'm going to add that as a detailed field. That means the value will be added as a call uh, in, in your data where you are exporting. If you are keeping as a column field, then you have the option to filter it. Either row or column, you can able to filter it. Similarly, page field also, you can able to filter it. You can sort by row or column. That is the reason you can select. If your report is based on uh, user's data, then you take them as a row data then you filter by this demo, uh, this data, so request a data. More, if you, this kind of is basically a hierarchy structure. If you want additional fields, go by available fields. 
So this is at the lowest level. So in our case, so I'll go to the approved by user. I'll go by requester or preparer, requester. I can take requester's cost center, creation date, requestors, requester's manager, all this information I can able to pull into the report. Okay, now click on next. The next stage is refining your data. How long you want this data to be visible? Time period, most recent two period, then system will also tell you by selecting this, you are going to get the data of your approval history from 1-1-2022 to 12-31-2023. You can change this one as per your preference. You select this one, give your custom date, there is no problem. You select advanced option, and then you click on what you want to do that also. You want to go by submit date because it is going by submit date. If you want to resign by assign date, two different spinning above range, something like that, you can use it. So since I have made it preparer as a uh, page uh, option, then I have an option to select. For example, I want to select only preparer as a buyer seven. Buyer, search for that. So I want to select only buyer seven, then I will say include. When you say included, the filter is included. Click on OK. Now I will be getting only repair where the preparer is a buyer seven. So like that, if you want to use it, you use them as a refinery fill. Let's click on done. So buyer seven, you can see the requester is in it, it was added in the field. Buyer seven reports only visible. So how many approval document he has created? You can able to see from here. Okay, now I'll go back, edit. So here I am removing this report. I selecting all, done. Then you click on. Once we export it, you will be having. You can, you can see Ariba user, functional user, Abhijit. All the details will be available. Then there are other thirty two users also available in this report. You can export and use it also. Now, if I go back, the system will prompt me to save. So what I want to do now, it will give me report name. I will just put for a demo, demo reports. If I put this under public folder, you need to have uh, one role in order to post this in a public role, reporting manager access you need to have otherwise, other people do not have access to put it in public folder so that they will not create a mess in the public report. So I have the public report access, so I can click on public reports. Then it will show me the folder structure currently available in your public report. I can put this in any one of the folder. I have RAR, I can create a new folder and then post also. Now, if you save, then it will be saving in your public reports under test ng reports. For time being, I'll put this in my personal workspace and I will show you also. Click on demo, save reports. Done. Now I'll go back. So you're not overwriting the Aribas prepackaged as a report. So some important reports which anybody uses this approval reports. Ariba bench program reports. Click on open. It will give you event level summary, SIPM software participation, all these details, event item level, event level summary, click on open. This is a beautiful report. So you can see this total remove, total bits removed, submitted months decline. Go by data and click on detail view. Then you will have I think it is pulling the report. Okay, you can also add this report to your. So this is what accepted supplier base lens and base report. This is the report. I can click on add to dashboard, and this will be added to my dashboard also. The report name even level summary. Again, I am going to save this in personal workspace. You just take by the whatever available. In the home page itself, I want this report to be added. Okay. 
So I'll go back. Then contract workspace procurement analysis report and uh, this one system and benchmark usage report. So this is Ariba benchmark program. System and benchmark usage reports will give you details about your licensed users also. System usage reports, click on open. Here you can select P2P usage report. Okay, you can click on uh, here, contract usernames and permissions. So here you will get the uh, report which consists of all your licensed users. You can select that item, click on open. So here it will give you uh, user ID and whether he is a FPM user, contract user, sourcing user. By this, he will also see whether he has access to create contract workspace, contract workspace, all these things you can able to uh, use this report to find out how many licensed users are there and whether they are having access. So all these users, whichever I mentioned, say for example, by seven, we do not have access to any of these users. But Ashok, I'm sorry, Amitesh is having access to all these things. things so he will be considered as a licensed user. I'll go back. So like that, you can use these reports, which will... So these are even pre-packaged reports we can use. And I'll show you what is I have loaded in the desktop dashboard also. So in home, if I scroll down, See, this event level summary has been added to the dashboard. I will minimize or I will delete since I don't want this one. I'm removing it. Delete the selected content. Okay. Similarly, I don't want this. Catalog versus non catalog. That's okay. Okay, now we will see the personal workspace reports. Whatever I have created will be available in my personal workspace, demo report and other report. If I want to organize this, I can do that by going to the action, creating a folder. Then you mention that what is the folder name. So you can define if it is for sourcing or whatever you want to classify as per your convenience or project month wise or whatever you want. I'm just giving for the demo purpose, test the demo folder. This consists of all the consist of all the reports in demo. Click on create. So then my folder will be created. Test demo folder. You can bring this up by using drag and drop option also. Then suppose you want to add one report into this, you can. Uh, click on my requisition into this folder. Once you expand it, all your folders in this folder, you will be having your reports. Similarly, you can delete your report folder also. I'll just click on. I don't have a, a delete option. Open. Okay, before that, I need to move this. I'll click on this, make a move, and I'm going to put this in the top folder. Then I'll go to the folder, then I should be able to delete it. Yeah, so inside of content is there, I was not able to delete. 
Now I can delete my folder since it is empty. This is how you can manage your personal workspace. Now I am going to show you public reports. Manage public reports are basically the reports which are created by your users. So expanded it. I have seen one folder, right? Yeah. So, ST and G reports. So like this. So, see need. He has created these folders. The same value. So now we will try to create a brand new report. So for that, you will be going to the create analytical report. Then the same steps. Either you use the prepackaged report, find out how the data is coming from, what fields they are using. Then you build your custom report. So here I am going to say what is my report. Um, contract workspace details. This report will give all the contract workspace details. Something like that you can edit. I want my currency should be US dollars. Then I will be selecting here contract workspace procurement being my main fact and I will also select on one more fact where I will select contract request if it is available. Is there any contract request? Contract request procurement I am selecting it. Okay. Now based on this I also have third level. In third level also, I can select awards and class, contract item, something related to this, I can select. I don't know this test to come this Okay. Now, I need to select at least one measure. If I'm going to the next, then system will stop me. Under contract workspace, I want to select contract amount as my reporting field. At least one data field need to be available. You can minimize it and you can take Take from the fact which you have to perform contract request also, you can add one of the um, a measure. So I'll go to the next. The system will populate currently. These are all the fields which is available in your, when you run this report, only these details will be available. Now I want to add additional details. I'll go to available fields. Okay. Now. I have project name, start date, status, date, owner only. I don't have any additional details. So I'll go by contract workspace. I want agreement date. I want agreement date, month, quarter, year also. I can able to pull in. I'll be going by just a detailed field. So I want this to be a agreement date. Then I click this. So I can see this. I was added it to agreement date. to all owners, see if I don't want this, whether it is an amendment type based on a project, commodity I want to know. Then under company code also I want to know. Contract, again at the contract level, whatever the fields are available. Contract ID I want to know. Contract status I want to know. Description also I want to know. So like that, you can add effective date I want. Then I want my end date expiration date. That's fine. So this is more than enough. Now I will organize my file names. First, I want contact ID to be coming in the first. Then project name and project description. Then start date. The effective date, expiration date. So I will be having a status date and who is the owner? Owner also I want after first it's after the contract ID, I want the owner. Then company code, agreement date also I will put in effective date, agreement date. Yeah. So company status, commodity for which it is there, company code, contract status. These two there may be duplicate. We'll check that. Click on this. Now it is done. I'll go to the next. I want to take a report for last one year. 
So how do I do? I will go by this. Last one year means I will not able to define it. So better way, I'll go by one year. Most recent one year, then system will pull me for. I don't want the partial year. So I will go by. Time period one year, most recent one team year, future period include current partial year. One one twenty twenty two twelve thirty one. Okay, now I'll be running the report. So I'll be having a report from 1 1 20 23 to 24 also. Why it is coming? I'm including a partial layer. If I'm removing that, it will give me only for this is not applied. Some reason it is not getting updated, otherwise quarter means 789. Yeah, so this will make sense. So 4th to June, which is having, I don't want the, okay, since today is a 30th date, okay. So this is your month end date. Suppose if you are in a 15th or 16th, it will take the last, uh, from 15th of last period. Uh, if you include this, include for current partial quarter also, then it will run for the full period. Okay, that's fine. Go by one year. So it will pull the data, but I want to include this year data also. Then I will select include current partial year. So it will run for the 2022 and 2023. So click on run. Oh. Expand this, click on detailed view. You will be seeing total amount of contract amount for this uh, report generated will be sum of this one. I'll click on detailed view. Then I will get all the details like contract workspace, by year, contract, description, start date, uh, agreement date, effective date. Wherever you are seeing unclassified means the value was not provided in contract workspace. You can click on this one. It will take you to the contract workspace. So this status is irrelevant for us. Gray is a dummy status so this contract status is fine so i will be removing this and even state also not required so this will not make sense for me commodity code if it is selected it will show if it not it will not show the company code also visible here then i'm okay with this report i will just edit and remove the first status and second state i'll go to the private layout first status remove State also remove. Now, next, I'll click on done. Then the report will get updated. Here also, you can use drag and drop option. Suppose I want agreement date to be first. And you can do that. See, then you, you maybe if you want company code to be come in the first. And here also you can use field browsers. So here you can use any of these ones and then filter by your details also. Now this is run. I will save this report. Under personal space, I'm creating it. So now I'll go back to my personal workspace. Now I'll show you how can I send this report to a external party. So this is my report, contract workspace report. I'll go here, run in background. Okay, 
once you select run in background i want this report to be run as soon as possible that means next as soon as i click on a save it will run that report run once on a period time maybe by 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock i want to run this report tomorrow and send it to these people then i can use run once or if i want this report to be generated every week on sunday 12:30 pm from this date to this date i want to send it to some particular people you can able to do that or if i want to done for every first of month on first at 12:30 you run this report from this date to this date number of days run to keep so when you are running it now every month so last three months data will be retained in the report attach report to email notification then when the report will be if you are not clicking this email will go and telling that the report has been generated then the person can come and verify the report if you are clicking on this attach then the exported report will be attached to the email here you are going to receive your users so basically the users in your system you can able to select by year 7 for example by year 7 so anyway you don't have an email address you will not receive the email and you want to send it to the external report for example any address so like that you can add by putting a semicolon or comma then you add multiple user addresses also let me select our space a list of email addresses separated by commas that will receive notification when this report runs. so i can put a comma and add another email address also so test it email that come something like that then once you click on save the report will be generated on we have reached the maximum four background reports allowed per user this is the first time I'm seeing it. Reach maximum four background one per user. It is much Okay, that's fine. So once you save this, you will be able to do that. Now it is saying some restriction. So okay, so I'm canceling it. Now I'm going to show you where you are going to schedule this report. Now I have been scheduling this report. I am going to the manage reporting manager administration under reporting manager scheduled reports under scheduled reports these reports have that is four reports have been allowed for this user he is already scheduled by a 7 august 27 to september 23 what is the test report february personal window sourcing project analysis because so something like that he is created i'll click on schedule Okay, if I don't want to be run, I'll click on none. Remove this, remove this. Click on save. Okay, now I will be able to do that. So only four reports are scheduled. So so as I mentioned, how many reports you want to keep it, right? So the past three reports will be visible here. You can also view that file directly from here, or you can click on delete, and you will also see that the last three saved reports will be available. You can decide how many you want to keep it in the saved also. So for example, I'll click on uh, done. I'll go by the schedule. Here, I can increase this two how many maximum only five maximum otherwise the system will consume a lot of data so last five reports will be saved here so i'll click on okay anyway this is also not scheduled i'll just delete it if you don't want to send anyone but you just want to keep the report generated every uh, one day and you want to see the past profile you can do that so in this case i will select this report select none Answer. the report will be <laughs> excluded from schedule. I will see what is this one. So multiples report
custom line attributes made available for the coding and reporting global filter the data type there. The following table is attribution made available for reporting. Okay. Basically, these data is where you are including when you are doing a events, you are adding your own terms whether if you want to that terms also will be available in your reporting you can use this this is the new thing i'm saying where it is used also you will able to see workspace id and the freight cost is included if you want to report on this one you can save since these are all customly created by the user so ariba has provided option to include even those values also into your report tables so with this we have seen on the reporting side uh, I want to show you, let's schedule that report which I have just created. I can schedule from any of the folder also, not necessary that it should be in personal workspace. So even for example, this report also I can schedule. So run in background, by year one, okay. the report. Since it is by year one, maybe I'm not able to schedule it. This part. I will select something from by a seven. I don't have access, so I will go to my personal workspace. Then I will select any one sourcing project report, run in background, run once, run this. You can schedule or you can change, you can play around three days. I will attach this one, recipient users. And let's select by year seven. I'm not giving any email address, clicking on save. Then this will be, it will also give you how many days it is going to run. Next job, when it will run? It will run on 9th of 3rd at 12.30 p.m. because Sunday will be on that day. It will run the report. It will send the content. Click on OK. Then if you want to see this report, manage, administration, reporting manager, scheduled reports. Here you will be seeing this report. Posting for the report by year seven. When was the last run? When is the next run? All the details are available here. Personal workspace. Are you open any of these things? Item level summary open. Here you will have the option export. You will also have export data configurable export. Which one you want me to show? Uh, export to Excel. Export, if you're clicking, automatically whatever you are saved data, that will be exported into Excel. The system will ask you to save the file which is getting exported. I'll click on save. Now file is downloaded. And say open that, mydata.xls. Report to three. screen. This is the file which got exported. Okay. You can configure this export by going to the Ariba screen. So once it is done, only one line only it is exported. It will give you the count of number of lines. So if you can configure, this is a again, this is a detail view. Select you can see this in 2023. 
how many uh, bids submitted, what is the contract months, we declined all these details. We want to go by uh, quarter. We'll also have 2023 quarters also. Then you can export or you can export your data or your configure export. So if your export data also same, now four lines will be exported. Actually, it is suggesting that you save the file name of what you are exporting. It's fine. The system will tell you once successful, it will tell you three rows have been exported. Click on done. Action, export data. You will be having option to Click on done. Configure export. Then you can decide here if you want that in a CSV format. Click on export data. Then this file will be added as a CSV format. Sometimes when you're running most of the detail, the display will show only uh, some quantities only. In that case, we click on this display option, edit. Then tell the system that show minimum of three rows, show maximum of 100 rows. <laughs> then all the rows will be shown. Or you select all the rows, then all the rows will be displayed in your, for example, if there are 2,000, 3,000 line items, the system will show only the first 100 or something like that. So here you show the maximum of when you select all, all will be shown. Also shows the top spend item that compose the specific percentage of total spend or show ratio. So in this case, if you're selecting what level you want to send. So about 80% of the top spend, I want to view the detail, then you use this rule. Or if you want to include all, you include all. Minimum subtotal percentage, you can also do the subtotal also. If you want private gate, you can click on this one. So total surveys is in the private table. I don't want that private table. Remove that one. Click on OK. <coughs> Sorry. Edit. So the same way in display options also. The same thing, whatever you are seeing here. Clicking on edit or actions and display options also the same. Save changes. So save this report. Since I opened from uh, non package report, I was able to save it. If you are working on a pre package report, then once you click on save, the system will ask you to put the file name or the report name where you want to save it. Do you practice? There is no harm in reporting. So try to run reports on sourcing, try to run reports on contract, try to run reports on purchase requisition also. So how do you do that? You go to the edit. In the source data, select different facts. One is for the sourcing, one is for the requisition, and find out what are all the fields available. By going to the next layer screen, then you will understand what are all the fields available in that particular uh, module or, or the event which you are selecting. 